Let us continue playing XCOM Enemy Unknown when we last left off. UFO mission. One we really need to succeed in. So let's send Buntley forward. In fact, we're gonna send Run Yun. Earlier we see enemies, the earlier we can shoot at them. And we're gonna send out our shiv. Now upgraded with lasers. Over to there. Let's hope you do as well as some of the other shivs we've had in the past because this is a mission we cannot afford to fail as XCOM at the moment. Alright, game's going kind of to there. The only one not in carapace armor, unfortunately. But, oh well, he'll live. Or not. Let's toss out a battle scanner. Actually, no, we'll do that next turn. This will be that, fur that much further up. I've already moved quite a lot of people. Right, our heavy again dash to there. Which leaves our sniper. You activate people, that's gonna cause a problem, but that's probably the best place because you'll get a good open view of the map from there. Which will be able to abuse the battle scanner and hopefully get a couple of good shots off. Side of this, as we would expect by now. Right. Slime boy, then move up to there. Scanner. Over there. Eyes in the sky. And we find Cyberdisk. Right. Gentry can't see them. Which is a little annoying, because I was kind of hoping squad sight would be enough there. It is not. Right. Move Buntley up to there. Let's move you. Move you to there. Next up, you. I'd rather not dash if we've got cyber discs nearby, actually, so you can just move up to there. Finally, that leaves the shiv, which will reposition to there. And I watch. Right! Gentry. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing that you can't see, but we'll overwatch your sniper rifle anyway, just in case. Overwatch. Okay, let's see what that disc moves to. They move to the. Oh, it. Darn updates. Well, anyway, uh, Buntley did get a hit, doing free damage, and unfortunately, you didn't. Adjusting sights. But this gives another couple of reaction shots. Pretty much everything's hit it. Well, everything's shot it anyway. And a good shot from Mr. Gentry. And because that's reaction to um, seeing things, there's going to be no drone resurrection here. So, you have a good chance of killing this thing, actually. 77%. Down to one. Now, I don't think we can stun a cyber disc. In fact, I'm nearly certain we can't, because otherwise it would be coming up with a little thing. We need the improved arc thrower before we can even consider that one, I think. So, let's move you up first to there. Your accuracy is 68%. Go for it. There we go. And Chris earns a kill. Right, you now? Um, not a lot of cover around, to be honest. But we can move you up, slime boy. They're only off 34. Yeah, go for it anyway. Miss. Adjusting well, the drone's not too much of a threat by itself, but we'd still rather deal with it. Shiv. Roll up. 
and your accuracy is 45 percent right it's on critical let's move you along and now you can't see it excellent overwatch all right i guess that does leave it to bluntly then half chance from there yeah Is all we got there. Um, right, let's move the drone. Yeah, do a shiv up. That is the entrance to the UFO, I believe. So that's a good place for you to be. Slime way up. Over and along. You, uh, again, your lack of cover. I think I was around the back. Right, you have another run gun available, so let's go and use that and reposition you over here. Not a lot found, Overwatch. Next up, Sniper needs to reposition to there, I guess. Finally, you, you don't really have a lot of places you can move to at all. Let's dash you up there. Alright, Shiv on Overwatch. Slime Boy's on Overwatch. And. You, once you change to your pistol, Overwatch. You as well. I could probably send friends another scanner out with Slime Boy, actually. That sound. That's telling us enough, though. There's something over there. It sounds a little like a mutant. But the shiv didn't spot it. Hmm. Right, let's see if you to there for now. Overwatch up. Over to you then. Let's move you up there. Nothing seen. Eyes on target. Oh dear, that's not a good thing for Bunty to find. Because he is flanked there. Which I'm surprised he's flanked actually, but. Well, his accuracy is good. But he doesn't have a lot of support. Slime boy. Can see. 32% only though. Shiv has a 45%. So if we toss the grenade down. Out. Yeah, I doubt that would destroy cover, but at the very least that's um, damaged. If need be, we will retreat here. Oh, critical six. We could stun him, actually, for his gun. Not this turn, of course, but it's a consideration for next turn. Yeah, Gaspard, bluntly retreat. We have a target. Right. Let's move you up. And Overwatch. Hmm. I'd rather not have you reaction, fire, and kill, but I'm not sure that thing's going to move. So. Overwatch. And we'll stick there. Did I move you too far back to have a go at the stun, though? I might have done. No, we can have a go. 90% chance or another mutant. Say good night. Target stunned. Good Ride work. 
Right, that does put him at a slight risk, but no more than he would have been anyway, so... Right, Shiv cannot advance fast enough, so you're going to have to dash down there. Because it needs roads. Let's see. We have a smoke grenade up here, but nothing great. And also, you're not brilliant at taking them out by yourself. So who have we got around? we got you, you actually. If we move you to there. Ah, I was hoping you'd be able to see. Oh well. There we go. Alright, 63% chance of hitting from there. Go for it. Critical. Intimidate. Come on, don't panic. Well, if you retreat out of range, that might be useful, but... Yeah. Right. Gentry is quite a way back, actually, from being in a useful position, so over there. Right. So I'm going to move there, but that was actually flanked last time he moved there, so... I'd rather look at Slime Boy in a flanked position immediately. What I could do him, though, is run him around to there. And next turn, he'll be able to move to where um, he was. In the meantime, here comes an advance. In fact, we can actually stun a second one here if we're lucky. 70% chance of a secondary stun? It might be worth considering, actually, especially if I can get Slime Boy into a position where um, he can recover it if it goes wrong. In fact, I can move the Shiv into a position to recover it if it goes wrong. Light him up. Hey, two captured mutons this mission. You cannot argue with that. All right, Shiv. Move up. Oh, two. Where's the second? No, you found two. Okay. Let's back this up slightly. Why did you find two? Alright, slime boy moves up. Half chance of hitting, seven damage. Or... Oh, what? No, I'm a little worried about the fact that we saw something else on the way through with that shiv. Now, I can run gun, which will allow me to go and double shoot with, get with um, Mr. Buntley. But let's see if we can't do some damage first without needing to. Right. Oh, yeah, Buntley already had a move. There. Right, Overwatch then from you. And I think an Overwatch from you. Fin men. Lots of fin men. That's the shift doing its job. I think it's free fin men, that's not the best thing in the world. At least we got one reaction. Useful for you to kill here. But you didn't. Missed. Hit for one, okay. Well, at least you did hit. Gives us options at the very least. Right. Shiv then. We need the shift to cover there. I'll have a better line of shot here. Down to six. So this gives Slime Boy a much easier kill. And some insurance if he fails. Oof. Keep forgetting about the darn 
damage reduction. Alright. Uh, just move in and secure it. Good work. Now we just gotta deal with the Fin Men problem. Who are behind hard cover and out of grenade range. Right. Yeah, out of that range as well. So it's a good rocket, but I'd rather not damage the um I'll go for it. I guess rid of some cover. So, their options are now slightly more limited. Could run gun up with Buntley, I guess. But we'll leave that as is. You need to move somewhere with actual cover. So, you're moving up to there. Overwatch away. Okay, things going okay. Still some mutants around, apparently. Well, we've done quite well in capturing two of them, to be honest. Right, ship up. Nothing found. Right, Bundley. Darn it, he did see them. Gentry can't. Let's move you up then. Slime boy. High, high cover there. Go for it. Nothing seen. And finally you. Game Sky, in position, nothing seen. Okay, full set of both watches then. If that thin man comes out, we are going to shoot him. Yeah, figures. Alright, slime boy moves forward. Shiv. Move along. Right, targets found. So 32 and 32. On the bases it probably would kill. We could go there, but actually suppression might be a better idea here. Right, moving to the next target. You. Dash up to there. Not gonna open that door just yet, though. Because Gaspard could go. I suppose I could toss a good one. The problem is, I don't want to damage the alien ship because I need all the arrows I'm gonna get. Didn't reaction shot. This was a mistake. The other one's suppressed, so he's got no accuracy, but. Still a mistake. 10% chance of hitting. Darn you, thin men behind hard cover. 29. Alright, we're going to take some chances here. 29% of death. Alright, you. 10%. There's no point in shooting with you. Slime boy's out of range, so Overwatch. Could move in with Bunkley. We'll just stick with overwatches for now. See what they do. Want to overwatch? One low accuracy counter attack. Right. This could be a mistake. We're going to open the door. Okay. Nothing found there. This means I can flank you. 
53 and 52. Go with the odds. Right, one down. I think that was the one with the um, reaction fire, actually. So, we now have a few options for who's kills here. And I think if you've got the shot, we might as well have another go with Gentry. Okay, missed two one in fours, but we can live with that. Move ever so slightly closer. Ten percent still. Nah, your your chances are gone. Right, Buntley then. Can't actually shoot from there. Hmm. Slime boy. Can't actually move anywhere with cover, which is a bit of a shame, but... You move to there, then. Which just leaves the shiv, I suppose, with a 32% chance. We can move you closer, but I actually prefer to keep the shiv protected for now, so... Let's just go suppression again. Now at least keep him in position, so... Hey, watch. Starting to lose ground. Yep, your accuracy's. Ah, oh, darn you. Accuracy's poor, but not that poor. And you still hit with poison spits. Right. Slime boy. Didn't actually move far enough. Whoops. Right, your turn. Take a second shot. Forty percent this time. Oh, two, two hits, two kills. We like that. That doorway's inaccessible for a few turns. So, we'll just have to send the Shiv in, I think. Uh, yeah, Shiv can dash to there for now. Uh, you shuffle up to cover. Gaspard can run back round. Two there. Uh, Mr. Gentry can run up to there. And finally, you can run along to there. You know there's still a mutant group left. Yeah, for poison damage. Alright, how much of that is still in effect on the secondary cloud? Unfortunately, we do need a second squaddy to heal the first squaddy. Um, uh, support to heal the second support. So, let's heal you up here. Easy now, soldier. So let's cure the poison. We have enough spare medkit things and capacity to do that. So Buntley moves to there. Overwatch. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. Uh, right. You dash in. And Gentry can dash to here. Switch pistol and Overwatch. Watch. Right, in comes Tank. Overwatch. Which can't open doors because of weirdness. That's where they are. I don't think we're alone out here. Okay. So if the mutant group is there, we might as well reload you. Ready to rock. Get the shiv back a bit. We'll then put Buntley into position there. Gentry into position there. Heavy weapons into position there. No watch. Shiv can stay where it is, and we'll just move some, shuffle some people up, I think. Slime boy. Up to there. Overwatch. Shut up. Listen. Okay. Let's get this open. What do we see? 
That looks like the primary power source for the alien One craft. meter and but that appears to be a berserker running around. power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Definitely. Right, run gun. Bundy's gonna move to there. Taking no chances with this thing. Double shot, rapid fire. Right, our source remains intact. Now we need to go and prepare for the thing. Because it is on the way if it's... I'd rather it's shoot the shiv, overwatch. Slime boy position. Overwatch. Gentry's not gonna get close enough, so let's not bother moving him just yet. Well, Actually, we don't need that to worry really about cover with this thing. Overwatch. Gentry moves into position there. Pistol, Overwatch. And finally, you. If we get a multi if we get a set chain of hits here, it's just going to run off directly along this way, and that will do. Right, so I'll just fly away. And the ship. Something missed, but free damage dealt. Whatever dealt it damage will cause it to run that way. Missed, missed the target. Gentry. Two damage. Help. Um, yeah, help. 100% hit. Critical. Not intimidate a machine. Can force him to run towards it though. Right. Slime boy. Actually, no, let's go with you first. Ninety-five percent. That'll do. You run towards him now. The plan here was to give Slime Boy the kill, if we can. He's the highest ranking soldier. Ah, six. Hey, you keep dancing. We have plenty of people who can kill you. And it's going to fall to you now, 88%. There we go. And the squatty guy has earned a promotion. Hooray! Right, which is not over yet. So we still have people to find. And we're mostly out of cover, which is awesome for this. So, oh watch, oh watch. If there should be enough to cover whatever happens. Okay, nothing detected. Let's throw the scout out. Scout doesn't find anything. Slime boy. Position. You into position there, I think. Just so you have the cover. Right. Gentry. Or oh, since the shiv's okay, we'll dash you out to there. By the same token, you should be okay there. And you can move to there. It's a shame we actually didn't save a stun for the um, Berserker, but it's fine. We can live without um, can live without that. And I think actually grabbing a couple of more um, a couple more full plasma rifles is probably a better idea. Right, slime boy moves up. Open door. Yeah, there's what an alien in there. Shiv? Your job, find him. Yeah, there we go. And currently have him flanked, but he will move, of course. 
92% chance for five. There we go. Fragments and victory. So that overall went brilliantly. Cannot complain with that mission at all. And we captured two more mutants, which is always a nice thing to do. So, uh, Squaddy Gentry is now promoted to Corporal and will go in and will learn Gunslinger. And a Squaddy Guy has been promoted, so you will now get the Battle Scanner. Uh, Thunder 4 was damaged, gaining 5 kills in that mission. Um, oh, five, it's over 2 missions actually. Berserker is gaining uh, Berserker Autopsy. Two plasma rifles, two alien grenades. Not that we worry about that too much. And look at all that lovely stuff. Right, now we can do things. So, skeleton suit or the berserker autopsy? Let's go for the autopsy because that's the men are calling this beast the berserker, although it shares the same structure as the muton, for reasons yet unknown to us. The Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust with little regard for its own safety. And this gives us the combat sims available for manufacture. So, let's go and continue researching the Titan armor, because we're going to need a couple of suits of that, I think. So back to the foundry. Um, scope upgrades or stealth satellites. I mean, we need some thin one corpses, really. Can we buy actually? Well, we can buy more light plasma rifles. We can buy a laser sniper. We can buy another suit of carapace armor at the very least. Our facility's going. That's not quite done yet. Huh, need to think about this one a little. What are our requests like? Navigation computers, 161. We need the navigation computers. We can't afford to do that. Keep the thin one corpses because you need those. Don't think we need the mutant corpses. Could be mistaken though. My excellent finances are okay. Australia withdrew from the project. Right, let's just um let's just move time on a little. operational. Right, new construction. Build facilities. We need to excavate that as fast as we can get away with it. So what facilities can we build here? Uh, Illyrium generator. I want to probably save the Illyrium generator. I can put a power one down there for the short term, which will probably power up the next two facilities anyway because of the eight that we got. Um, what are our ships on at the moment? Phoenix cannons, Phoenix cannons, avalanche missiles. What we should really do? Not that. Yeah, I was about to say, we have laser cannons. Yeah, running this at close limited range on hostile targets. Manufacture four of those for now. And then we're going to manufacture two alloy shivs. Which is going to take up 24 more of our alloys, but... They might. They probably are going to be worth it. Next thing we'll do is Commander. manufacture Our current satellite two more satellites. Facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Not a problem. We'll get them as soon as, um, since we can excavate far enough. That can be built. All right, more activity. Titan armor research is now complete. Assign new research. Skeleton suit. Which does eat up some more of our alloys, but that's fine. We can now build a suit of Titan armor. Which we're going to barracks up. Review soldiers. That goes on to our colonel. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, keep forgetting things aren't automatically built. Oh well. Moving on. A scan. Penis cannons are now built. So we can now go to a ship list and go. Oop, cancel transfer. Load out Phoenix Cannon. Confirm. And edit load out Phoenix Cannon. Confirm. And that should do, I think. Right. 
Actually, we're not. No, two in Asia, two in North America, two in South America, two in Europe. Yeah, that works. Yeah, okay. Uh, I was just checking things out there because that seemed a little confusing there. I wait, laser cannons being built. Let's go on the super sap been researched. And we can no longer research things because we do not have the weapon fragments. We need more weapon fragments urgently now. And they want a light, light plasma rifle for 928. Fine, you can have a light plasma rifle. Because that solves a lot of our money issues at the very least. It just doesn't solve our alloy issue. Can manufacture another couple of these. Shivs. We can build shivs normally without even worrying about that. Not going to bother with that. We have a suit of Titan armor being built. That's 13 days away, though. So, yeah, so we now just got to wait on things. Excavation. Excavation complete and alloy shivs. Upgraded robots of doom. So basically they have uh, nearly double the amount of hit points that they originally had. Other than that, nothing too different. Um, let's build a power generator because we can. So they'll be done at the same time. And then once that's excavated, we can put another satellite up link there. And that will probably be it. Laser cannons have been built. Arc flow has been completed. Improved arc flow is next turn, so continue scanning. Right, assign new projects. So our arc flow is now improved, and we can capture more things with them. Um, yes, thinking here. We could hire some more soldiers, actually. I'm actually waiting for the aliens to do something because we need more stuff and we just do not have it. Uh, foundry products. Scope upgrade would take up weapon fragments we don't have. Commander, there's a priority one transmission coming in from the council. Oh, council mission. I'm going to get something I didn't ask for, aren't I? Target extraction 157 panic reduction and two engineers in South Africa. Well, it's a mission. Let's go for Excellent. it. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Oh, we have some colours that need to be changed here, I think. Sergeant Slimeboy doesn't eh, Slime Boy, uh, Sergeant Slimeboy is fine. But Lieutenant Genefuse should be blue clearance. Whatever we decided the blue clearance should be. It probably was that one back there, actually. There we go. So there's the blue clearance. Uh, squaddy, Colonel, Sergeant, Gentry should be in yellow. Okay. As should you. Customize. There we go. Yellow. Right. Uh, sniper support, support, assault, heavy, heavy. I think we can actually clear you out for now and replace you with... Who hasn't been on a mission, actually, in a while? If it's target extraction, we could probably do with the extra support person, actually, but we're going to take an extra assault marine. You haven't been on a mission because you're red clearance, but you're now technically orange clearance because of the squaddy effect. And it's loadout. All right, you can stick with your... Actually, we can give you a light plasma for now. You can have an arc thrower. And alien grenade. Right. Um, you know what? We actually need to actually sort out a lot of our. Um, I need to sort out the equipment actually because a few of the um, suits have gone walkies, haven't they? We don't like that. You soldiers. Who's not going to be wearing them? Uh, you actually. Loadout. Go back to body armor. A lieutenant does require carapace armor. 
And that'll give her yeah, dual laning grenades, I think. Who's got a scope that doesn't need it? Nope, we're using all our scopes up, so double avian grenade then. Right, so we're now prepared for target extraction, which we will do next time. So, until then.